too early in the morning. <laughs> Sing a song that uh, I wrote with the help of a wonderful friend and a great, a great man, a man called Pete Seeger from New York. And uh, Pete Seeger is 91 years old. He's still playing music. In fact, we played with him just a few weeks ago at the Great Pumpkin Festival of Beacon, New York. And uh, we had a big birthday celebration for Pete uh, last year in Madison Square Garden for his 90th birthday. And uh, Pete was singing, playing, and lots of uh, very dear friends of his and wonderful people playing as well. And we were invited to to play and we were delighted. Uh, we were John Baez and Ariel Dutty and the Garrigal sisters. Wonderful people from all over the place. But there were a lot of very big names there as well, and it was a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, nerve wracking. Uh, the, the, the MC was a man called Tim Robbins, who's a, an actor. And he came in to tell us when we were on. He said, You're on immediately after Chris Christopherson and just before Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it was one of those, one of those nights. But Pete, uh, I'm sure people would be familiar with Pete Seeger here. Yep. Yes. Uh, he's written some beautiful songs like Where Have All the Flowers Gone, and Find a Hammer, and so many others. So this is a song that uh, we wrote together. And uh, he lives, Pete Seeger lives in a small log cabin in the high banks of the Hudson River. And any time we go to the United States, we always try to meet up with him. And very often we're talking about old songs or thinking about new ones. We were talking about how sometimes music can heal conflicts, not only between two people, but between the conflicts in one's own head. And I remember I said to Pete, you know, someone should write a song about that. Pete said, you write. So I come back a few months later and I sang one song I'd written. And he stood up all six foot two inches of himself and he looked out through the window of the house and below he said, it's good. But it's too short. It needs another verse. I said, you write. Which he did. And we recorded this song together. It's called Music of Healing. the truth's like a hair in the cornfield you know that it's there but you can't put your arms around it all we can hope for is follow its footprints sing me the music of healing who would have thought i could feel so contented to learn i was wrong after all of my rambles i've learned to be hard and i've learned how to tremble Sing me the music of healing. Ah, the heart's a wonder, stronger than the guns of thunder. Even when we're torn asunder, love will come again. 
both men did read poetry, one in memory of those who had lost family in North and South Armagh. Developing friendships along the way, a cup overflowing with love and kindness every step of the way. Retha Hassan. Jerry Adams wrote a tribute to Sinn Féin member Siobhan O'Hanlon, who died of cancer two years ago. Cardius Namon, Ahas Namon, Gra Namon, Teki Namon, Sirsha Namon. The Creative Arts Award went to the third Rebel for Peace, Pete Seeger. At 89, he was unable to travel, but they did play this DVD showing him on stage in the Carnegie Hall with his grandson, Tao Rodriguez Seeger and Arlo Guthrie. And Tao accepted the award for his grandfather. In a sense, the small community recognition is what means more to him than uh, larger things like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The night belonged to Pete Seeger and his music. It ended with arguably his most famous song, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Last night I had a dream. Dreams are sometimes like this. You don't know what they are about. <laughs> Not very concrete. But I can assure you I also have very concrete dreams. I dream, for example, that I have longer hair. <laughs> ah, I would let it grow. And, and then you can do funny haircuts like this. <laughs> but it's only, also, only possible when you have long hair. And this is a big dream, if you can imagine. <laughs> or I dream that I am more like a sportsman. Um, oh, exhausting. But uh, there is a, kind, a different kind of sport. There's also a smaller version, you don't have to run so far. <laughs> or this kind of sport, it's nice too. You wear white uh, clothes and you have a racket like this and then you do a little <laughs> And you need to buy another racket. <laughs> or I have another big dream, I love to be a better musician. Dim, 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 dim. Or uh, this music instrument, it's very nice too. <laughs> or uh, uh, this music instrument, it's well known in this area, but you need to tune it. <laughs> uh, you have to play these regular, and these haven't been played since the 13th of July. <laughs> in Scarva. <laughs> now, the sailor played a bit of a fight that went on one time in Scarva, William and James, and the bookies have stopped taking bets on James. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, the story goes that uh, after the Battle of the Boyne, James was sitting on the side of the the bank down, down, down Crestfallen and, and uh, William up and put his arm around and said to him, listen, James, don't worry about it. In a couple of weeks, I'll be award about this fight. <laughs> <coughs> so, the, so the story goes. <laughs>
and we've been visiting ancient wells of Ireland throughout the country. Uh, we began last summer down in Ballinskelligs in Kerry and yeah, gradually made our way to the Hill of Tara by Halloween of last year, um, camping along the way, cooking on fire, bridging gaps between people, talking to people in the different villages that we passed through, um, gathering stories on ancient wells and spending time at these beautiful places. Um, the ball, the ball, you just pick it up, you don't care. <laughs> because in a way, a soldier is a soldier, no matter, you know, it is war, and soldiers fight in war. So I want you to take the second verse as the battle that you have won, fought and won to become the people you are able to talk to each other, which is, must have been a huge battle for you to get to the place where you are now. Old fighter, you sure took it on the chin. Where'd you ever get the strength to stand? Never giving up or giving in. You know I just want to shake your hand. Cause you know that people like you help people like me go on, go on. People like you help people like me go on. Love, not arms of war, it's 
Butter's melting on the knife, you call us each by name. A slice of life, a circle shared, the time can never claim. Every time I taste fresh bread, I see your hands 